heard our veterans say many times, my day of honor was so special. It was life changing. Some even say it ranks right up there with their wedding day. Well, on this day, I get a chance to see for myself how very special this day is. My name is Annabella Marie Shalotta, and I'm a part of Honor Flight Chicago's Operation Education. First of all, God bless you guys, and welcome home. I'm among 13 students and teachers from different high schools making this trip to Washington, D.C. All of us are serving as guardians, which means we each spend this day with a veteran as a part of Honor Flight Chicago mission number 103. It's been dubbed the Operation Education Flight. We are all very excited. I just love helping veterans and today I want to help them tell their stories and I want to hear them and be there for them and I think it's just a cool experience to see through their eyes. I just want to do everything I can to make sure that they know how appreciated they are, especially since a lot of them didn't get that appreciation when they came home. So, just what is Operation Education? Well, it was started a few years ago with the intent of inspiring students to want to learn more about the service and sacrifice of our area veterans. What are their stories? How did their time in uniform impact their lives? And don't we owe it to them, and to ourselves, to ask questions? to learn about their experiences. Oh, wow. One of the first things we experience after landing in Washington is a water cannon salute. And then a welcome that feels overwhelming. I can only imagine what our veterans are feeling, especially my guy. He is Sergeant Bob Lamont. I was a bit nervous at first, but as soon as I met him, he put me at ease. I suspect he doesn't consider himself a hero, but, as I would learn, he's a kind man, humble and courageous, whose tour of duty in Vietnam 52 years ago was very difficult. We have a police escort that's going to be leading us along the way here today that are going to be clearing the highway for us and creating the Honor Flight Chicago Highway. We have 111 senior war heroes on this mission. The vast majority served during Vietnam, but among the others is a nearly 100-year-old World War II veteran who served in the Women's Army Air Corps. Just think of what you witnessed in her lifetime. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, We are all proud and privileged to be a part of this ceremony, this moment of honor and thanks. One of our fellow students, with camera in hand, is producing her own documentary of our trip. So many stories. My great-grandfather was a veteran for um, World War II in the Navy, and so I've always just being, hearing him and his story just ignited my yearning to learn. And now I'm here wanting to learn even more stories, even of different branches, of different um, time periods. And I think that's what my connection is to the population of veterans, and I just want to hear them. Those of us on today's flight are just a fraction of the students involved in Operation Education. Our effort has now grown to include over 150 Chicago area schools. It all began with mail call. Students of all ages write letters of thanks to the vets that they read on the trip home. That's been a welcome tradition since Honor Flight Chicago started. But Operation Education has now grown to include getting our vets into classrooms as first person witnesses to history. Dozens and dozens of videotaped interviews have been done to preserve veteran stories. For me, it's not just about veterans. It's about that generation that's lived. We always ask the veterans at the end of the interview, what, if you could speak to yourself as a child or as a student, what would you tell yourself now, knowing what you know? And so often their answer is, you'll be okay. You have a future and just hang in there and figure out what your path is and follow it. And 
they say, now I'm on the other side and I can meet myself, but talk to myself. And in talking to the kids, it, it, it's, there's that link that's so amazing. Honor Flight Chicago has become a ready resource for providing an abundance of veteran histories to a growing number of classrooms of all ages. Having students hear these stories and getting these experiences of being able to understand a little bit more about a veteran story, that it's not just war, that there's lives around it, there's impacts that happen to the families at home, uh, that there's careers that are after the service. Uh, so Operation Education is really that transition to allow schools to have resources provided for them, have those uh, connections and that ability to get veterans to their schools for their students without trying to find them on their own. Uh, we can do that work for them. We got ambushed one time. And Bob has many stories. They may not be found in books, but I get to hear them. We walk now to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall. Bob is looking to find the name of a fellow soldier who was killed in action. We find it. Here. Got it. Oh, yeah. Bob does an etching as we are surrounded by others doing the same. It is a time to think, feel, and imagine. My philosophy in life is that like everyone's human, we're all one, and that like we all deserve the same amount of like compassion and love, and just helping heal past traumas and wounds is just really beneficial to a veteran, and it also really helps um, like people in the younger generation. We used to be able to go to schools on Veterans Day, and they would have us come in and speak to a class for one period, an hour, whatever. Okay. But that seems to have faded out now, and we get the story that, you know, well, we never get to the Vietnam War that far in history. You know, we work up to there, and we get through World War II, and then pretty much that's the end of the, uh, the year. So I would love to see them have more knowledge. You hate to think all those people died for, you know, and nobody remembers, so. We don't want to forget. We want to learn, and that's the goal of Operation Education. Mail call! It's time for mail call. Letters from kids, letters from strangers, letters from loved ones. It means so much. This day is filled with emotion, but we save the best for last. Coming off the plane back at Midway, the cheers are deafening. What a feeling. I get to enjoy it walking with Bob. Somewhere in this mass of people is Bob's family. We find them. I'm so lucky to be a part of this, to share some history, to share a family's joy. There is no better way to learn. Woo!